everybody, we're here. We're in Austin, Texas. Hitting up the fittest experience. Tell them about it. Uh, okay, on this episode, we've got a few of my favorites. Okay, first of all, Mike and Adi, I love you guys. We're gonna come out and see at the Wag House, do some pool parties. We got Bethany Shadburn. We got Jason Kalipa and his trash tips. We got, uh, who else? We got Travis Williams. We got Chandler Smith. Smith. He's Chandler out here. Smith. Smith. Yeah, man, he's my boy. Oh. He's like missing a finger or whatnot, but you know. Oh. What you're you probably got? wondering why I can squat so good right now. Usually I don't got this kind of flexibility. Yeah, this is where life. I live. This is where I hang out. Go up a little parallel, man. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. Let me give you a sneak peek about what we got going on today. What you got back okay. there? I got a secret. Hey, my shoe. Got a secret. Come on, man. Ooh. Keep it waiting. Maybe we'll talk about this a little later. Because we got a secret coming out. Roll the footage. As per usual, gotta take Mars now. There he is. What's up, double up? Texas, let's go. You gotta get in your car, bro. What's it known for? I would say it's known for the food. The food is the best. You gotta find some pancakes. Okay, so we get to Austin. Safely landing through a storm. We land on the tarmac five hours. Five now. hours we've been sitting on the tarmac. There goes Friday. That was a wash of a day. Who needs Friday? Yeah, man. Who needs a Friday? We'll just re restart Let's this one tomorrow. Reset, go Saturday. Yeah. Oh, I see you went with the Chrysler, you classy mo. <clears throat> Alright, where to? Taco spot. Dude, have you ever Tacos? Taco spot? I thought we were doing Bobadoo, man. You've been talking all this game about Bobadoo. I'm ready to Bobadoo. What are you talking about? That's where we're going, son! What do you think? It's morale booster right now, bro. When was the last time you ate? <laughs> September. Welcome to the good life. This is day job. Ah, uh, get to work. You logging your hours, bro? Make sure you're tracking them. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Good morning, Texas. What are you cooking up here, dude? Scramble. This is the cashew scramble. Oh, okay. Bacon, Dang. garlic, fresh garlic. Then you have shaved Brussels sprouts, tomato. And then we're gonna put it on a bed of spinach and arugula. Okay. And you're gonna have a bunch of eggs in there. It's gonna be bomb. You the coffee man? What's up? He is yeah, the and I want to say I, I I don't know why I don't like when people call spinach and arugula a bed. It just doesn't feel like a bed. Yeah, it's just laying on a bed on a nice uh, maybe a cot. Maybe it's a cot. <laughs> I break this down for my macros today. Oh, I tracked the whole thing for you. You tracked? Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. you did? Just for me? I'm gonna make it squad? for the whole squad. Oh my gosh. Look at this. You don't come to the macro queen's house and not, not get your macros done for you? <laughs> dude, I've got macroed out, dude. Day one, right now. Starting. <laughs> Do it. How you doing there, bro? How you doing? Taste the scramble. Yeah, man. Scrambled up. Yeah, right. Notice how how Michael is done, <laughs> yeah. and nobody else is done. Is that some of that that, that Louisiana speed, huh? That's right. All right. <laughs> We're gonna go hang out with Bethany Shadburn and her friend and her boyfriend Joe. They're a good time. You're gonna get to know them on our show. You ready? You oh, I'm ready, bro. Blah, 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 blah. I feel like that's your kind of energy right now. Blah, like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> So I wanted to do a workout that was close to Murph. That's why I decided on this one before we do Murph in two weeks, three weeks. I haven't done this workout. I'm guessing 40 minutes 
to an hour? 40 minutes to an hour, huh? Yeah, easy 20 minutes, yeah. Weight vests are prescribed for this workout, so if you want one, you can have one. The <laughs> oldest life. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna wear a vest. I, it's plenty of shit. I don't have that much pride. <laughs> what, what are you expecting here? Ugh, it's gonna be a terrible workout. Yeah. I'm sort of stuck. Yeah. Um, um, well, I've taken off the shirt, which is probably a bad idea because I ran when I was getting ready for uh, Dubai yeah. in my weighted vest without a shirt on, and I got these marks. Oh, yeah, you get those. Little... And these are from December. Wow. And it's May, so. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. Turn around point. I was just trying to get a shot. Okay, what's next? Crossfitters have an asshole barrier. We're like, there are very few and far between. The vast majority are really cool. Plenty of work without a vest. I don't know why. I'd have died with a vest. Bart is getting a drink. You know, I your water break, man. I'm at 50 lunches. Only butt stuff. <laughs> All the time. That's it. We'll rip you on. The end. 154. Legs are heavy. Arms weak. Mom spaghetti. Let's go. Pancakes, pancakes, let's go. Oh, I feel so good. I'm ready. Alright, okay, what do we got for round two? What do we got? What's next? I'm ready. Another partner wad! Oh, wait, there. Called eating all the food. Okay, good, yeah. Cause, uh, <laughs> I was gonna do another workout. Good, and yeah. And uh, it's not happening anymore. It's the pump though, right? The pump. Oh, yeah. Chest yeah. pump. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Hungry? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. Breakfast, bro. I need a Cake, some cakes. Cakes. Yes. Sure. Yeah, the push-ups were the worst part, you but gonna... I'm glad I did that for Murph. Yeah. I haven't done Murph in two years because it always falls right where uh, regionals is. Yeah. So I never get to do it. So, but every time I do it, it's always very terrible. You uh, a little post-workout nutrition? Well, I just brought a gift. You know, like I wanted to. You know, we're the treat kings. Treat king. You know, people come, they sweat for an hour with us. Nice. I feel like they need a little sustenance yes, in their life. Please. So. We got a pole because they're all stuck together. They're at that gas station, so you Ooh, can thank yes. them. Thank you. Let me get one. Let me get, one. get on on this. Oh, that's what is a that great face? face. What is that yeah. face? Come on. They're so good. Got I'm nutrition. so thirsty. This doesn't even sound good right now. I brought a water too, but that's not for you. I'll see you at the venue. Okay. I'll see you there. I threw out a question to the sock nets, to the social media. I said, yo, we're coming to Austin. You know we love some cakes. Where should we go? I had two options that were regularly showing up. Magnolia Cafe, and the other was Kirby Lane. So we're going to Kirby Lane. Mom, they got it on the front of the menu. You let gotta me, get Let me one. read this to you. Here we go. Chicken Tell them about the deets. Give them Fried them all natural chicken breast, chicken beignet pancakes, maple buffalo sauce, and powdered sugar. You tell them about the cinnamon? Yeah, I said cinnamon. So you read, like you read that description? Yeah, I read the description. Yeah, where have I been? Dude, you're right here. <laughs> what really entices me is maple buffalo sauce. Never have I ever stoked about it. Yeah, this is our chicken and pancakes right here for you. We have powdered sugar on there. We do have a maple buffalo included on there as well. It's two of our beignet swirl pancakes that we layer on top. Um, comes with a side of butter. It's pretty good, sweet and spicy to start you off in the morning. All right, bro, let's, let's 
I got the thing going. Where are you going right now? This guy's trying to post. I got fresh cakes. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start without you. You want to wrap the pancake and then go for the egg? Yeah, this is what we're here for. Okay. Look at that bite. You ready? Yeah. Cheers, bro. Quick. Wow, you're big. Oh. Not very sweet. It's more savory than it is sweet, but it's very good. Oh, oh, oh Scooby. It accents the chicken in such, such a, a way. way. Bro, one to ten. I'm gonna say seven and a half, eight. Snooze, what would you give snooze? Snooze, I would say that's more like an eight point eight. Yeah, give that like an eight point eight, eight point five. Alright. Pancakes. Dude, I'm about where we're going. Let me tell. Let me tell. We is gonna go stand up paddle boarding on the river. On the river in Austin. Because you know, go, uh, bro. What? Day job stuff. You gonna try yeah, the hours? Did. Yeah, man. I'm gonna log these hours, bro. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. We thought we were gonna go paddle boarding. It sounds awesome, right? Look, we're paddle boarding in the city. There was that huge rainstorm that caused us to be on the, the airport tar tarmac for five hours the other day. They shut down this river. You can't be on it. The popo's getting those guys. They're pulling them off. So instead, we're gonna scooty around town because we love scooty gang. Scooty gang, like almost every city we go to, there's these uh, portable electric scooters. And uh, look at this train, perfect good audio, yep. We, we scooty ganged in Sweden, we scooty ganged in Boston, we scooty ganged in Austin, where else? San Diego? San Diego, yeah. I'm a big fan of the bird. Bitch, I got problems on 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 problems I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling, the birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Hey. Okay. Well, that was. Uh, not bad, Austin, not bad. Yeah, not bad. I mean, paddle boarding would have been. Would have been way better. Way better, uh, but, you know, yeah. It's better than doing uh, accounting. Look, yeah, it's better than digging holes. Transition. <laughs> so, we're going to go check this thing out. We might go head to head. Oh yeah, let me tell you a little something. So, little song. so they got this thing called the Frog Challenge. Uh, I'm not really sure what that means, but uh, it looks like some sort of horizontal thruster machine. So we're gonna get super uh, frog-like, you know. Don't say that we're gonna get horizontal, cause that sounds like something that's not. Yeah, man, it sounds like bumping. Oh, what's up, dude? Do you want to get a photo? Yeah, I do want to photo. Can I take a picture with y'all really fast? Yeah. Look at these guys, repping the, repping the squad. Oh, oh. You got a Texas, who do you expect to show hey, up? Man. This is my event. How long have you guys been having this event? This is the 12th year we hosted. Man, we started our first year in our box, 600 square feet. We had 35 people do it. So people might not know this, but Jeremy Teal is like one of the original CrossFit vloggers. Like I was starting CrossFit and trying to figure out how to eat well, and he was like, look, I go to Whole Foods, and I got blueberries, blueberries and like chicken that he would get Whole Foods. So I was like, oh, that's a good substitute. I don't got time to make lunch. I'm a student. All right, well, thanks for having us out, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, bro. Oh, What's up, team? Hey, ask me about your nutrition. You guys have any questions? This is the spot. You guys do this for people. Yeah. But now what's the next step? What's the next step? The next step, we are coaching coaches, and then we're also coaching gym owners. So if you're in a CrossFit gym and you have a hard time, like you can help people work out, but you can't necessarily control what they're putting in their mouth. So we can add that aspect to your business in a way that's scalable, that can support your whole gym. Um, and you also get our support, teaching people how to help people. That's what we want to do, just help more people help people. There you go. She does all my nutrition, which, and he looks, I mean. And he looks good, so. Stop, don't make me blush. She also does a lot of other people's nutrition that look a lot better than me too. You can go out there and crush it and that's you every single time. Like you underestimate your own abilities and you are somebody that needs to be super confident in yourself. Hype man. He was, on. He was right for once, yeah. Come He's on. of the Dex, the Dex Hopkins School of Hop Hype and Chandler up because I'm always negative and Xander always brings me up. I appreciate you man. Go get it. What are you doing right now? Uh, I'm about to lose to a kid in burpees. I just finished losing this workout to Travis who's a, technically a grown man but a child at heart and then there's this kid who is a kid but an adult at heart because he's out here challenging people and he was like, 
Black Smith, I heard you thought you are pretty good burpees, which I do, I think I'm all right. And he's like, I'm gonna beat you at him. The kid has some strategy here. Like if I was ever gonna challenge him to a workout, it would be immediately after competing on another floor. So I'd be like, hey, you just finished? Come on, come on, dude, let's go do Fran real quick. He's, he's planned this whole thing out. This is like a, yeah, this is I want this kid in the military. Yeah, he does, this is an operation. He like initiated, <laughs> he got me upset, so he instigate, He like instigated the populace, right? So he caused an uprising within me. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not gonna let this kid talk smack. And then he set the stage, right? His home turf, right? Like he's got his family, yeah, man, his friends his are here. Crew, he's got his hype man. So I'm like sure. we're fighting, I'm conducting an offense, but I don't have the proper three to one ratio to be successful here, so. I think the kid is going to win, which is really unfortunate because I'm supposed to be good at this hey stuff. Man, I'm sorry whatever. for your loss. Thank you. Uh, I've never had a drop of alcohol, and I've really rarely met someone else who's never never had a drop. Never, so. not even a touch. Uh, not, even I a might, not that I'm aware of. You probably spiked some of my drinks. So, so I will say, <laughs> Water Blues a couple years ago, we won, and they sprayed champagne, and like some of it like got out. Get out! I melted. Oh, dude, you're tainted, bro. I'm pure. No, no, this is not. This is not from the army. I got this in a as a freak nail biting accident. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we were like. Uh, you see that again? Oh man. We are like moving a tank part around and uh, I tried to deadlift the tank part, which would have been good for fitness if it wasn't like, it was like a thousand pounds. And I'm like a good deadlifter, but I'm not that good of a deadlifter. And so just kind of chomped it off. Uh, it's hard to deadlift with just your finger. It is. Yeah. You learn, but sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. You yeah, gotta touch the stove yeah. or drop the tank. I try not hand. to learn that way. But. Can you show me what a burpee is? I've never seen one of those before. What's it look like? I say you gotta save it. Whoa. Say you gotta save Whoa, it. Can you show me like, 20 more? No. So you what? I, I'm trying to, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it, <laughs> is it here? Hey, he's trying to get you tired. Don't listen to him. I'm not. I would never, I would never try and play mind games with a four year old. All right, let's do this. Oh. 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 All right, here, let me get a timer. Pop the top. I definitely can't let you flex on me. So. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Are you flexing? Because right. I'm flexing right now. I don't know if you're trying you to get in my head. Go. Come on. Go, Kyron, go. Kyron, go, Kyron, let's go. Go, 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 I, it's up to the. We gotta check the video. I, I saw. Knuckles, it's it's you see no reps in there, so I, I think there's just no way of knowing. Like, I don't know. We'll call the tie, please. No. Okay. Who won, Kevin? Who won? Me. Who won? Me. You won? Me. You won? I'll take my loss with pride. You did a good job. Good job dude. All right, so we're about to go hit this thruster workout on the little like thing, you know? I don't know what this is. The frog thing. It's a frog thing. Come the on. frog thing. The frog challenge. Uh talked about this a little bit earlier these things I have very terrible ankle flexibility so my squats for years I was often told I wasn't hitting depth it's a personal problem stop bringing it up guys okay Dude, yeah, I don't want to hear about it you didn't hit depth I'm just having fun okay get off my back okay? and then like boom depth every time because depth matters you know that's their slogan hashtag depth matters I love them. I'm a big fan of them. I recommend you probably pick up a pair if you got poor flexibility in your heels and in your feet and in your toes. Come on, come on, sit. What'd she say? Say it to his face. Let's go. Don't be, don't, hey, don't I be said, sit. I said I was going to kick your ass. Oh, <laughs> all right, let's do it. Do I lay on it? No, oh. you can't lay. Don't no lay it. That's cheating. Oh. <laughs> we got a special guest today. Who it is? What's up? The Fichet. Oh, the Fichet oh, boy coming out here. So much bush. Okay, I, I popped the top. Let's see how long margin lasts. I literally went on it. Are you already popping the top? Bro, I said trans margin follows. Yeah. Yeah, shut the door. Qualified out of Dubai. That's Hopefully, I'm just a little waiting for my invitation, but that's that's the, but, that's but the word on the street. True. Assuming that's it's the word true. on the street. That means that you're the first person to qualify for the CrossFit Games. What? Oh shit! Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, he's hyped. He's hyped. He's hyped. Oh, he's pumped. Woo! So. Anything's gonna beat me in this frog workout. Uh, I think they're waiting on him. Oh. 
Are, are we ready to go? Right. I don't even know what it is though! Woo. Three, two, one, go! And they are on by the if you will. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost fell the thruster. Oh, yeah, I got him on that first one. That's terrible. We got Brogan here. What's your answer about? Uh, Tyler Brogan, 14. Tyler Brogan, 14. Give him a follow. He came out and helped us out. Freaking stud. Two down, it's one and one. Who knows what's gonna come next? I don't know what this next movement is. Looks like we gotta go all the way up there and all the way back. One and one, one game win straight! Hey, it all comes down to this. I like the pressure. I'm a game day athlete. Once again, that's a dub for Omar. My legs. I kept on breaking it too. I was, I was like, it. So Michael, as soon oh my as gosh, I did not do well at all. <laughs> all right, we're here with the people from Wad Bomb, Ken and Amy. Tell us a little bit about what Wad Bomb is. Uh, Wad Bomb's a monthly fitness subscription box. The main item we try to do is always to have at least one training item and one apparel item that are pretty much worth at least what the box costs. So you're gonna get a shirt you might have paid 25 or 30 bucks for, you're gonna get that shirt in the box. Or maybe you got a jump rope you paid 30 bucks for, you're gonna get it in the box. So hopefully you like one of the two items, which means at the end of the day, you should have at least gotten that one thing you like, and everything else is gravy on top of that. So every month you'll know what's coming your way, and you can, if you've got a belt and you don't need a belt, or you've got 10 jump ropes you're tripping on, you don't need another one to trip on, then you can just go into your account, you can delay your, your account for a month or two, three, whatever you need. You can unsubscribe, resubscribe. Sometimes we have specials, so you can get a discount when you do subscribe again. So you always know it's coming if you don't want it. All right, Marzo wants to take the cam for me because I always interrupt him. So now I'm going to give his moment in the spotlight. This is your moment. Don't mess it up. Oh my don't gosh, mess. let me tell you about this vest. Okay. okay, we've got three of them. We're giving them away. Three different ways that you can get them. One, subscribe to the Buttery Bros Instagram account. Subscribe to Wad Bomb's Instagram account, or just go sign up for their service, and they'll give you one of these sweet vests. Check it out, it's a accessory right here. I'm about ready to go hit Murph. Let's do it. You look like you're about to go hit the club. All right, let's go. How do my okay. biceps look? I mean, you're gonna have a hard time. You have a hard time right here next to this. Don't try it out, angle me, Jason Khalifa. Question one, what are two things that most affiliates can approve of? Yeah. Treating it like a business and not just a hobby. Most people get into a business, they have like a high barrier to entry. In Cross, you have a low barrier to entry. You can come up with 30 grand, have a couple of buddies, but you might not have all the systems in place, right? The business acumen. So first thing is, make sure you get all your business stuff taken care of and recognize it's not just opening up a gym. It's opening up a business that happens to be a gym. And yeah. then second thing is, um, you know, just renewing their members every single day. I think every day, every impression is an opportunity to regain them to come back the next day. And if you don't do a good job, if you're on your phone, if you're distracted, if you're not paying attention to them, if you think they've been a member for three years, they might not be a member tomorrow. And so every day you gotta renew them. That's the process. Love it. Favorite dessert? Ice cream. Favorite movie of all time? 
I mean, almost anything The Rock is in. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Man, I can't wait for Hobbs and Shaw. Crazy Rich Asians has been like a. Wow. It, it, he just loses. <laughs> as of lately, oh. it's been like an uplifting, fun movie to watch. I mean, it's not my favorite movie ever, but anything The Rock is in. How did you get your triceps so big? Um, when I was in high school, I tore my ACL and I had to be on crutches for four months. So my triceps started to grow because I wouldn't use my legs, I just used my triceps. But really all you need is crutches for four months, you're guaranteed bigger triceps. Got it, got it. Okay, sometime soon we're gonna come hit tries with, with Jason Khalifa. Yeah. Dude, I got CT Fletcher coming to the gym this week. We are gonna definitely hit some tries. You should come by actually. Dude, we would love it. Alright, all right, all right, right, let me let me let me let me because this is Run it by him! Let me run it by him. Let me run it by him. And and then I'll ask you. Yeah. So here's the deal. What's the deal? Chandler Smith was in the lead until this final event. He was. He was in the lead. He was in the lead by like 18 points. Okay. Travis needed to win in order to win the event. There's took, a chance he that he, he, he might have won this. He might have won this whole thing on that. Wow. That's the area. I ended up second by four points total and two seconds on the last workout from first place because I didn't push my last round because I thought I just needed to beat one guy and I was like, Look at this Joker, that's trying to win this last workout. Hey man, my friend Savon told me every second counts. And I, th I just thought I was dead, like period. I didn't think there was any way I could come back. Wow. So you can always come back. And come then right. I look at the leaderboard and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. This is a self-fulfilling prophecy, bro. It's that lucky fingertip. That oh lucky yeah, fingertip. well, that lucky yeah, I mean, fingertip. Like, it's a knob. That's it. Fingertip. Yeah. If you knew that it was more than one point difference, you go. You, you could have tired that workout. I know, man. So that's that's so that's that's like the bad, it's a bad finish. Travis crushed the last event. Uh, Travis will be the first guy to tell you I'm a total nut job, and I feel like. He's still better than me, and like I, I don't know. I don't feel like I really. We're three and three on the weekend. You gotta hold that, man. Oh, yeah, you took that. You got that. You got that dumb. Right? Look, look, look how humble. He's super humble back here. Not humble. I got really. It was seconds. I got lucky. My tie in Darwin. If Darwin beats me, then I lose. There's like a lot of ways I lose. I don't feel well, yeah, good about it. Winning, like, winning doesn't matter if it's a quarter like, minute or my. I, I don't know. Vin like, Diesel. Like, Vin Diesel. Oh, buddy. Oh, that's a good day. Uh, uh, oh man, my quads are frogged out, bro. Thank you everybody for joining the show today, and who else? Oh, thanks to the sponsors, Versa Lifts and Wad Bomb. Really appreciate you guys for sponsoring this episode. Everybody else, smash that subscribe button, and let me think about something else. Roll the credit! I brought you a gift. Wait, what is it? What is it? I brought some tasty treats. No. I stopped by Quiddos. <gasps> And got some donuts. Fever! Oh Why the f*** did we bring this into the macro house? <laughs> what Why is would we bring five? <laughs> you don't show up to a party with one donut. No. There's like jalapenos. Okay, there's jalapenos and bacon. And bacon. That's the one they recommended. I think yeah. that's grandma's pie. Oh, I'm gonna eat grandma's pie. Tell me about pie. Pie. Grandma's pie was never so good. Can't believe the macro queen would eat this. Oh my god. Guys. That is the weirdest shit I've ever eaten, but it's delicious oh anyway. It's so good. <laughs> no way. I love banana flavors. Cheddar cheese on oh. top? That's like a, definitely a cheese. Oh, okay. I swear it's my last one. Oh my god. <laughs> hey! Hey! Have you had this one? No, man. Yeah, me neither. Oh, get in, get in. Little, little taste. Yeah. 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 Get in, get in. Get in, get in. Get in, get in. Get in, get in. Get in, get Ten. 10 out of 10 for Godos? 11. 11 out of 11. 10 for Godos. Yeah. All right, if you're in Austin, you gotta go to Godos because uh, everybody here gives it a solid review. <laughs>